Meowdy, and welcome to the City of Electric Sheep. It me, the Sheep. Today, we are diving into part two of the Ravenclaw portion, which I think that is now upside down. There we go. The Ravenclaw portion of the Hogwarts crest. So, part two of Ravenclaw, part... 586 of the overall thing. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> so starting off, as usual, oh, let you actually see this a little bit better with the Technic Bits. Popping those in there. And so it's bottom and left. One, two. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, Otto. Feels sheep. <laughs> Show hand box. <laughs> I like that I call that the hand box. That's not like an official term. I just kind of coined it myself. <laughs> but I'm committed to calling it a handbox. Okay. So I think I'm gonna start out this one, because this is a lot more of that, that raven. Should be an eagle. It should be an eagle. Yo, Meowdy! Born to be wild, HS. <laughs> How's it going, Nate? <laughs> yeah, buddy, I'm excited that you're here, but my friend. Ooh, I'm not sure which one we want to start with. I think, okay. When in doubt, always be outlining. A, B, O. Always, always, always be outlining. So I'm gonna outline first. So these are the gray pieces. Yeah, if they made Blizzard things like this. Oh my gosh. Um, I think I think it was you, Nate, who was sending me um, uh, or who sent me the uh, mini figs, the like Warcraft, Hearthstone, like mini fig um, MOCs. At one point, it's like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and like, if it was something that was a little bit more like well-developed and by by well-developed i don't mean that they didn't do a good job the the people who made that moc did a great job by that i mean if there was more to it than just minifigs like if there was like a, a battle for azeroth of some sort like oh my gosh found them on etsy there we go yeah <laughs> always be outlining it's a lifestyle it's my new life motto and by new, I mean, it's always been my life motto. Now I'm just aware of it. Whoa, there's a Lich King Cindergosa set for like $200. Wow. From Super Bricks. Yeah, so there, there's some Blizzard um, stuff out there for Lego. But it is Overwatch. And Overwatch is cool. Like, I'm, I'm just not really a, an FPS person myself. So no shade on Overwatch. It's just not really my thing. Um, so I don't have that one because, you know, just not, not an IP that I'm invested in. But that kind of like initial... Uh, let's do this one next. Um, that initial kind of like handshake is already there. It's already there. So theoretically, they may be able to do do some stuff going forward. That's my hope. Like if they if they release a straight up like WoW or um, Hearthstone, um, Warcraft in general set. You know I'll be all about it. 
all about it. I mean, I'm all about the Harry Potter ones as it is. <laughs> so the uh, most recent wave of Harry Potter sets started coming out in 2018. They had like um, some that, that were out, you know, like whenever the movies were very first being shown, they kind of sputtered towards the end of it a little bit, right? Like they kept on re-releasing Hogwarts in different iterations to, to different degrees of authenticity. <laughs> um, I'll just say that. Uh, you know, that everyone's go going to be nostalgic about their sets, right? I liked the original one, but I also know that heavy, heavy nostalgia glasses kind of informed that. The ones that they, they started releasing in the like 2018 wave, the, these are getting really cool. So I've definitely uh got there. Nope, this is all the same webcam. So it's just a second uh, zoomed in portion right here. So what you're seeing right here is the same thing as right here. It's just enhanced. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, getting, and I, I actually have been thinking even more about getting like a um, a new camera, um, like at some point, like a maybe like a fancier one, um, but I'm not sure if or when that will happen. <laughs> CSI, Sheep City. Yo, Meowdy Tow Truck. Yeah, a lot of people do use uh, two cams for like the uh, TCG openings and stuff like that. Yo, Meowdy Jeffer. Welcome <coughs> to the city of electric sheep. <laughs> oh, if I if I get a second camera. Unfortunately, I don't think that it's going to be 4K. Um, just because, like, getting a high-quality 4K image is expensive. <laughs> Very expensive. <laughs> Two cams. Be a great rap name. <laughs> I'm doing good. How you doing, Jeffer? Good to see you, friend. Oh. Always, always, always be outlining. Rules is rules. If you're not outlining, I don't know what you're doing with your life. <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> A sheep shear. <laughs> so true. Yeah. I, I just don't know that I could uh, afford a sheep shear. It's true. <laughs> See, so this one is four tall. Perfect. Nailed it. Nailed it. So that goes there and that goes there. So we got that bit in the top right. Those over here. That one kind of floating around there. Those do need one more gray piece here. I just didn't have the um, anything to guide me to it before. <laughs> Yo, thanks, Jabber. Yeah, I really, really dig my, my new logo too. Um, it's an, an Alucard production. Okay, this is going to be the most cinematic piece. And that is the black studs on the black background. That's right. I'm putting studs in right now. You can even see a little bit of it. Just a little bit. 
at some point the uh, black studs have to go down so it's just a matter of kind of deciding when they go <laughs> If you had a 4K camera, would you have a quality loss when streaming games comparably? So, um, short answer is no. Um, so the, um, processing for all of that kind of stuff and things, um, doesn't really happen in the, um, PC. Um, so I have a, um, whatchamacallit, that's helpful, um, like a capture card, um, already, which I use to stream, like, Xbox games and stuff like that. Um, if I were to get, like, a real camera, uh, not just a webcam, then, um, it would probably be going into that or like an Elgato cam link, um, you know, something like that. Right. Um, so the processing a for the, the image initially happens in the, um, camera. Right. Um, but then whenever it's kind of outputting to the PC, it happens with the, uh, capture card. So that's kind of where the, you know, the, the back end where that processing power kind of comes from. I'm sure that uh, I'm messing that up, like that that justification, that uh, logic a little bit. But at the end of the day, it wouldn't, wouldn't be um, as big. And so for 4K in particular, the amount of money that it would take would be a lot <laughs> and the amount like like the the difference in video quality especially since i'm not streaming at 4k huh see i'm not streaming at 4k um wouldn't wouldn't really be like it'd be diminishing returns for sure Oh, I didn't get the uh, Lego Iron Man. Not yet, at least. I've got it um, kind of bookmarked to, to see about uh, possibly getting at some point in the future. Because <laughs> that thing does look awesome. The Hulkbuster! Um, no, so the uh, Iron Man thing that uh, Nate was talking about is um, basically like a, a bust. So, not a buster. <laughs> uh? But um, they're like the uh, Jim McCollum's, like um, like of Star Wars busts and stuff as well. Um yeah, Jaffer, I think you're right. Only partners can stream at 4K. And in general, a lot of people can't um, watch even in 1080p. It's no shade to them whatsoever. Um, and only partners actually have like the default um, ability to um, have the options for different... Um, like streaming, um, what you call it like resolutions, bit rate, that kind of thing. Um, so I actually stream at 720p for exactly that. Yo, meow the exhibit. Well, maybe rip. I can't tell. Not rip. Cool. <laughs> it's fixed. Let me know when you hear me say the word now, right now. <laughs> there may be a little bit more of a delay. Sorry about that hiccup. Not sure what happened there. 
Happens sometimes, I suppose. May just be a little bit of a delay at this point. What can you do? We're back, though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know that Slissa the other day was um, mentioning that there are some kind of hiccups lately in general, which is fine. Now, okay. So I just now read both Elmo and uh, Nate saying now. So it does look like we have a little bit more of a delay now than usual. But the show must go on. The show must go on. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, the kind of like 4K stuff, however much it's cool, at the end of the day, I'm not going to be streaming above 720 anyway. <laughs> so I will be sticking away from getting like a 4K, I think. <laughs> yeah, Twitch heard me divulging streaming secrets. Exactly. Behind the scenes. Get him! Oh, um, so Nate asked if I have, like, a room dedicated to, um, like, streaming and collectibles and stuff. Um, and I basically do. Right now, while um, we're working from home, um, I'm also using it as a home office. So, um, you know, it's, it's already kind of been very beneficial. Very, very beneficial. Um, but it did, in fact, start off as just a streaming room. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 720p, like, kind of capping out right there seems to be, like, a good sweet spot. Where it still looks good, but you don't kind of... Uh, cap people from being able to watch you. And at the end of the day, that community, uh, that's why I do this thing, is to hang out with y'all. Okay, so this is one. Looks like that's too tall of this. Yeah, the, um, Stopping at, at 720 just seems like that's where that sweet spot is. So that is what I will continue doing for sure. But especially if I'm, uh, and I have been, um, streaming a lot more things that are visually like camera intensive, I may end up getting one that's a little bit less, um, whatchamacallit, like digital, if that makes sense. But I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not completely decided on that. So the reason why Nate asked about the room is because right now the setup is in your loft, which is cool, but there's no door and the sound really carries, which is a bummer when it gets late at night. Yeah, and you've got like the, the kiddos that you don't want to be like keeping up too late and that kind of thing. I can see that being a um, limiting factor for sure. And Meowdy Stalloner, good to see you buddy. And welcome <coughs> to the city of electric sheep. <laughs> that is one of my favorite things to do, right Meow? <laughs> It very much is. <laughs> I'm doing good. Thank you very much for asking, friend. And I hope that you are as well. Oh. Oh. And. Oh. Last one of that. Okay. So now we've just got dark silver and blue left. 
Nice. I'm glad that you're doing good, friend. Much love. Let's see. I think I'm going to do dark silver next, actually. Yeah, let's do dark silver next. I like to end with the blue because the blue really pops. Like the blue looks really nice. So let's do, I call this color dark silver. And on the instructions, it is two. Oh yeah, uh, a blanket might be a good idea for sound suppression. That's true. Um, so my webcam is actually on a tripod. So I've got two different um, monitors kind of to the side and I've got like a tripod. Um, I had like um, a uh, like rigged like thing, but the arm that it was on just had it like in a little bit of an awkward area. Um, and it wasn't able to kind of get far back enough. So that's something that I may end up returning to is that versus the tripod, just cause the tripod ends up taking up a lot of kind of floor real estate and I have kicked it a time or two. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's always kind of like, oh, let me make sure, see if I can get, uh, <laughs> If I can kind of fix that, get it back to where it's supposed to be. <laughs> so I may end up uh, getting like a different arm that I can mount to that that uh, thing. Um, because the one that I've got, while okay, um, particularly for a webcam, I don't think is like a really good solution. But if I am to get a camera camera, that may fix it. Now, I actually only have a, a Logitech um, C920 right now, but I'm thinking about getting like a nice camera, but I don't have one yet. That's a, that would be an investment for next month me though. <laughs> um, oh, uh, and Nate, if you send me um, a Discord message or something, I can look up afterwards um, and see exactly what my uh, desk brand and stuff is, and I can let you know. Because um, I've been really happy with this one, but I, this is kind of my first gaming desk. Um, so I only really have a limited experience with that part of it. But yeah, if, if, you, if you shoot me a message, I can look that up after stream. And yo, Meowdy Darkstone, good to see you, friend, and welcome <coughs> to the city of electric sheep. <laughs> All right, filling in with this dark silver. So this is a decent amount of the raven claw. Should be an eagle, shouldn't be a raven. They base this off of the movie, and I understand that is the the more marketable thing to do. It should it should still be a uh, it should still definitely be an eagle. <laughs> oh, I haven't uh, watched Jujutsu Kaisen quite yet, Darkstone, but I have it bookmarked. So the next time that I'm um, like watching stuff, I can pull it up. And I remembered it. I, I remembered exactly what it was called and everything. <laughs> so I haven't seen it yet, but it is it is on my agenda. Uh, Rocky actually was talking about it the other day too. Um, so I know that it, it's definitely, definitely, uh, Something that I would really like, because I've, I've known that guy for ages. Yeah, very true, Jeffer. Oh, um, I only have uh, two monitors, but they're pretty big. Oh, I can't wait to check it out. 
I need to bump that up my priority list. Maybe I'll start in on that this weekend. Oh, this weekend is actually going to be really busy. So um, tomorrow, um, Brian O'Brien is having a wild tournament, and I am doing some of the casting for that. And then Sunday is, of course, Valentine's Day. Oh, there we go. Oh. And now, the best bit. The blue. Oh, the blue always looks so good. Really pops. Oh, a new episode of Jujutsu Kaisen is just about to come out. Nice. That is exciting. I really like ending with the, the color that pops the most. Because it makes it, especially this panel, goes from being kind of like... monotone even though it, like it's it's got a lot of um kind of like different colors but you know it's black and gray and silver and like that that all in in the same color scale um the blue really pops really really pops bailed out and bought a third <laughs> but no room for it on your desk yet oh no <laughs> I know how that goes. <laughs> and just ba a third. <laughs> oh, ba's ba is one of my favorites. <laughs> Big fan. There we go. So this is our first panel of the day. Oh. So this is a lot of the um, wing from the raven, then its body and a little bit of its head, like the back end of its head. But that is not nearly the last panel that we'll do, because the next panel, I'm going to go ahead and keep that hand box hidden for a second because otherwise you would just be seeing like the studs on the top of this. Yeah, unfortunately I can't rename butt spot. <laughs> but I refer to him as Baha's butt. <laughs> and we've got So, one of the reasons why I do this like this in particular is that on the bottom, there are these lines and you're supposed to line up the um, Technic pieces in the middle. And that line makes it really, really handy to line it up in the middle. Okay, so this is like the head and the beak. Probably. Hmm. Not sure exactly where I want to start on this one. I think I'm going to start with the black. There's not as much black on this one. A lot of it is that like dark silver and gray. So black, whenever I'm putting the black bits on uh, studs, not bits, uh, studs on here, it's a black background, black studs. No matter when we do it, it kind of looks like I'm not really doing a whole lot. So whenever I can, I like to do the black studs first. Now with the Ravenclaw portion, so much of this is that um, black color where we're kind of like filling stuff in and like, you know, we're making right now the raven. It's unfortunately not an eagle. We're making the raven. <laughs> um, so there's a lot more of those black bits than, than there are whenever we're just kind of like outlining stuff. So there's a lot more of them. 
Yo, Nate, no worries. Not, not to... Don't feel bad about asking questions. That is one of the reasons why I'm here. Um, I do have a stream deck and I absolutely love it. So there are a number of things that I've kind of automated isn't the right word, but that I've incorporated into the stream deck instead of um, doing manually. So like one thing, whenever I say, welcome to the city of electric sheep, the bar is is a soundboard that I put there. Um, I've got one to toggle my light. So there's without the light, there's with it. Um, you know, just a, a whole bunch of kind of different uh, things like that. Whenever I hide the, uh, what I call the hand box and show that, that's one of the things that I programmed into it. I don't think that I use mine to its fullest potential. I know that there are a lot more things that I could use it for, but it's just kind of like a, a really big, like quality of life, um, tool. Now, I got mine from a uh, giveaway that F2K Comnet did. Um, there was a, um, there's like a monthly raffle um, and they, they do this. I don't know if they do it every month, but they do it most months. And um, before I was even an ambassador, um, I registered for one, didn't think I was gonna win and boom. I won one. Um, and so you could choose from like a whole bunch of things. It was like up to a hundred and something dollars worth. Um, and I chose a stream deck and I am very glad I did. <laughs> Yo, Jaffer, thanks for hanging out, buddy. And I look forward to catching you in one of your streams in the Comnet Discord, just around the community. Much love, buddy. Um. <laughs> And Saloner has redeemed an impression. <clears throat> Who in the right mind hides loot? <laughs> I knew that one was was loud, so I, I needed to move the mic away from my <laughs> mouth a little bit. <clears throat> Thank you for redeeming that impression, Stallone. <laughs> it's still amazing. Oh shucks. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Otto. <laughs> that is that is one of Stallone's and my my favorite ones. <laughs> and that's one of Stallone's, and it's also one of mine. <laughs> so fun to do. <laughs> okay, so right, so that goes into there, and then it goes out one here. Whenever it goes out one, also kind of does this number. Yeah, I personally am a really big fan of them. Um, your mileage may vary, but I find it super duper useful. Super useful. Okay. So, like I said earlier, the, uh, um, Schmacolums, that's helpful. The black portion, not the most visually, uh, stimulating aspect. <laughs> yeah, it has been a while for when your bright mind hides loot. <laughs> very, very well timed. So we got four there, and that one is four down. It's a little bit chunkier onto there. Man, maybe starting out with the uh, black was a mistake on this one. It's just so much of it. It's not a bad thing by any stretch of the imagination. Two over. Perfect. But <laughs> I 
I'm glad that 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 makes you laugh. Yeah, anytime I'm like, oh, the thing. It's like, that doesn't doesn't help me at all. I, I doubt it helps you. <laughs> okay, so wait, which one which one did I, am I doing right now? So that goes to there. That goes to there, so we need to go three wide here. I'm in charge now. Or I guess now I should say, Yar! <laughs> Since uh, Patches no longer has charge. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Unfortunate. Poor Patches. I was about to say may, may he rest in peace, but he's still actively used. I still use him. I have a golden patches now. I had to gold him. Nate understands. It was a requirement. <laughs> if I didn't have a gold patches, what was I doing? Okay, so that one goes two down. Now I need to go two over. Put it there. Yo, welcome back, BLZD. Good to see you again. Welcome <coughs> to the city of electric sheep. Now, auto understands too. Patches, completely necessary. Oh, thinking about golding out a deck? I will say, golding out a deck is very rewarding. But once you gold one of them, you will want to keep on golding decks. And that's not really sustainable in the long term. <laughs> so that is the only uh, caution that I will give to golding. <laughs> yeah, uh, so... Uh, for that one, uh, BLCD, we're talking about uh, in Hearthstone, in particular. That is definitely in Hearthstone. <laughs> it's a very dangerous business. <laughs> okay, so this one... Connects all the way over there. Okay. So this one's pretty wide here. Yo, meowdy, Mrs. Tow Truck. Good to see you, friend. And welcome <coughs> to the city of electric sheep. <laughs> okay, so that is three tall. So then there's one break in here. And it goes diagonal down. And two, break of one, and then four. Nailed it. Ah, there we go. Cool. I, I will say blazed. Perfect. That, that will help significantly. Thank you, friend. Okay. So we got that one. That had the two, break two, and then that. So then this one is just four wide here. It does not resume anywhere. This one is two wide, break one, two wide, break two. Perfect. Oh, and that is in the way. Sorry about that. Okay, so then this one is three. And I think this might finally be the end of the black background and the black studs. Finally. Who? Lad. <laughs> finally. Okay. So from here, I'm going to go with the dark silver. Dark silver time. Let's go. So this is kind of highlighting a lot of those um, 
uh, what you call columns, um, the the black pieces. It's kind of highlighting stuff. Yo, thanks for the lurk, Nate. Oh, enjoy playing in the snow. We may actually get some snow here before too long in Texas, which like never happens. Never happens. For now. Ominous. <laughs> Yeah, we're only done with the black parts for now. So we get to highlight this um, raven. Should be an eagle. Should still definitely be an eagle. I'm not going to give up on that crusade. This raven should be an eagle. <laughs> but I, I understand why they didn't do it. But it still should be one. <laughs> still very much should be one. Okay. So we've got this right here. Oh. No, yeah. Yeah, that needed to be here. Ooh, there we go. It, it, it was just transfigured. That's a that's a good way to put it. The crest was transfigured by the the Slytherins to um, be um, inaccurate. IDK. <laughs> okay, so the the whole thing. Let me finish with a few of these, and I will show you where what we've done so far and where we are now but i'm going to finish with these um dark silver bits first because we've got a decent amount done here but not a ton and if i pick it up then i will lose my place it's kind of like with reading on that part of it right so the um oh and i have a lot of the the pieces put aside unfortunately but i'll be able to show you where we are with the ravenclaw stuff to obliviate oh no what 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 has my memory been erased of <laughs> can't remember what I've forgotten. Okay, let's see. And two more here. Okay. So, what we did um, the other day is this much. So... Like this one will go there, and that'll connect in. Oh no, it's on this side, isn't it? This one will go here, and so on. And it eventually forms the thing that it is holding right there. So that is what we're doing. <laughs> okay. Um, we have a little bit of gray and a little bit of silver. I think I'm going to start with the gray. Just, you know, since I've got it here. It is a thing that we can do. So this will also be much more visible on the camera too. So we've got, this looks like it is part of the um, border of the crest. So you know what we say, always be outlining. I think 
I think we're outlining the crest. It's a life motto. <laughs> That's what that is. There's really not a whole lot of just straight up silver in here. There's like randomly, or just gray, my bad. It's like randomly one right up here. And then there's a few over here. Most of the rest of it is either silver outlining or blue <clears throat> outlining. <laughs> So there's not a whole lot of these buddies. That is a-okay. We don't actually have a whole lot of the um, grays left in general. Put that back. Put these back. And grab some silver. Hi ho, Silva. Okay. So this is basically just kind of like filling in at this point. This is a honestly a pretty odd panel because a lot of it is just that raven. Which should be an eagle. It it really should be. Really, really should be. Oh, there we go. So we're just kind of filling in the different spots. Giving it that, like, final touch for a lot of these. Got one duder up in there. These buddies over here. One there. One there. And then shining up over here. So a lot of these are just shinies. Really gives the, um, what should be an eagle, a lot of uh, depth and dimension to it. There we go. And it will be much more visible whenever I'm holding it up and putting it together. Right once we finish these. This should be really making it shine. Yeah. <laughs> Stalloner can tell I really wanted it to be an eagle. <laughs> or gave it away. <laughs> Was it my constant harping about how it should be an eagle? <laughs> I'm not gonna, gonna, this is a hill I am prepared to die on. I am very much prepared to die on this hill. <laughs> it's magic, that's how you can tell. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> okay now we're outlining the gray bit there with the silver looks like we're gonna need a little bit more silver not much though that it is Harry Potter after all. Magic is always a good answer in the wizarding world. 
Okay, and three down here. Um, Otto, I don't know what makes you think that I'm a muggle. Oh. I, I don't know how you came to that conclusion. And I believe that you're sorely mistaken. That's all I'm going to say about that. I don't want to, to break the, uh, International Wizard's Law. The um what code of secrecy? I don't know. I'm I'm not a, a wizard lawyer. It's just not my field of study. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know is because of reasons. That's fair. I I can't argue with reasons. <laughs> okay, what I like to do whenever we're filling in a lot of these bits is to go diagonal with it. So we go diagonal up here. Diagonal up here. And the cherry on top is right there. Okay. So this piece fits right into here. And now we've got the eagle beak or eye really starting to come together. That will take us to our final panel of the day. And of course, we keep the hand box hidden. And so a muggle or no madge is a non-magical person in the wizarding world. And of course, do it this way. And moment of truth. How good did I center it? Oh, check it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah, I could change it to an eagle, and I may end up doing that eventually, but I, I, I would need to plan that out, and I have not yet planned that out. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest. <laughs> okay, so I'm starting out with the black border, because... Black on black is going to look weird no matter when we do it. So we may as well kind of rip that band-aid off. Yeah, Rue could definitely help with the pixel art. That's true. It's true. Rue, Rue, Rue. Okay, so I'm actually going to kind of jump over to the bottom over here because there are a few places where instead of just being one up and one over, it's two up and two over. So I'm gonna do those ones first and they're kind of over here. It would be a little odd to judge exactly when it is over here. Nailed it. <laughs> so we got two up here one up and over here so two up one up here's the other two so there are a couple of reasons why i do it from the bottom here even though i started up here 
if I did it right. It's a pretty big if. Then they'll actually connect at the proper spot. And if I didn't do it right, then I will know now and be able to fix it now and not have to like go back and undo it and, and redo a whole lot of work. And, oh, my clairvoyance was so close. The one black stud left over. One. Okay, so we are done with the black studs for this panel. We're done with the actually dark silver studs as well. There just aren't any. That's kind of nice. Um, so we've now got silver and gray. Yeah, we definitely take those. We definitely take those. That was a pretty close one, too. <laughs> Could just always control Z. <laughs> it's a nice idea. It's a nice thought. It's a very nice thought. Okay, so most of these are just diagonal. Oh, it's gone forever. But there are a couple of them where there's a one stud overlap, but only a couple. It always feels weird whenever I'm making it to only have a couple, but whenever you're looking at it, it, it really, like it makes sense whenever you actually like straight up see it. but it feels weird only doing a couple of them. But, it, you know, it makes it to where it's like a little bit uh, more filled in in some places and a little bit thinner in others. So, like, it makes logical sense or makes visual sense, even if it feels weird logically to do it, which is unfortunate. Yeah, it's Stallone's favorite song time. Let's go. Let's go. So whenever I was editing uh, videos the other night, a few of them, so, so I record multiple different tracks, uh, audio tracks, or at least it's supposed to. So the reason why I do that is so that I can uh, play with the levels um, in post and I can, you know, just make it, you know, sound a little different, put in a different music, um, you know, stuff like that. Well, a few of them, um, it only recorded what I recorded, like what, what I sent to stream. And I was like, no, <laughs> I worked so hard <laughs> to make it separate so that I could put in like my own stuff and oh no. So there will be a couple episodes where it's the live mix, which is fine. Like it sound, sounds good, but I like having the control over it. Y'all know me. One down, one over. So it looks like the rest of these are just one and one. So it should line up correctly to connect right here. Moment of truth. So there's two, but then, so is it two twos in a row? Let's see. So it goes two over, one up, two up, only one up. Uh-oh. This is why we do this part first. This is exactly why we do this part first. If I can actually grab the tool. There we go. Okay, so two over, one up, two up, one up. 
So that part is incorrect. Okay. Two over, one up, two up, one up, two up, one up almost all the way until the penultimate one, which is two up. Boom. The system is working as designed. <laughs> Everything is working as intended. Okay. Let's go ahead and pour some of those buddies out. Put them in here. So now we are filling in slash outlining <laughs> the crest. So we're filling in the border to outline the crest. Boom. Both. Lawyered. <laughs> Lawyered. <laughs> oh, I think that there's actually a um an audacity thing that I could do to try to remove the music as well but I'll have to play around with it I don't know if it'll be worth it let me try that out this evening hmm. that's a good idea oh. and yeah so we're filling that border in getting that border built. Building that border on it. This will be the last of the gray for this panel. Still got three more panels after this. But that'll be next Tuesday. I actually will not be streaming Lego at lunch on Monday. Got um, an appointment that I need to be in the digital waiting room at 1245. So unfortunately, some days we end up having to be off. And Monday of next week is going to be one of those days. It happens. <laughs> Fill it on in. And there. Oh. Oh, okay, right there works. Dope. <laughs> All right. So now the only question is, do we want to finish up with the checkerboard or do we want to finish up with the blue? I think I want to finish up with the blue. So we're going to do the checkerboard next. So I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is basically outline the checkerboard. Hmm. The checkerboard for me, I'm not gonna say is the most boring bit. Well, I mean, <laughs> most boring bit, yes. It's not boring to do. It's, it's really not. It's just not the most kind of engaging part. So we've already got the silver out. So that's three away, three in. Er, wow, that was a mistake. Speaking of dope, there we go. <laughs> three out goes there. And so this goes three up. 
there will be like one solitary white stud right there and one solitary white stud right there it's fitting in with the instructions quite nicely and we're gonna need a few more silver decent amount more silver because we still need to put that whole box in this one doesn't have a whole lot of the um, checkerboard so that's nice there stay on target there we go can put that silver away and grab some white studs this is probably too many we shall see so one almost at random throughout here it's not random. It's forming that checkerboard pattern. <laughs> but still. Okay. Fill it on in. And there we go. One more down here. And two more boxes. Got that outline of the box. <laughs> Otto is hungry. I am on my lunch break right, right now. I had a um, an uncrustable during the starting soon screen. <laughs> that is a thing that I did. And always be outlining. So outline that square. And fill it in. Boop. Final one. And now we have the blue that we get to fill in, which is outlining. Uh, always be outlining. It's outlining the raven, which should be an eagle. Just as a quick reminder. No food, only Lego. I, <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna disagree with you. There we go. And so, one of the things that I like to do whenever we're kind of filling in with these is um, to make it so that we're doing diagonals. And I'm not sure if I want to make it where we're doing diagonals coming from here or even out the diagonal here and do it the long way into to where it's shorter with each one. I think I want to do the latter of the two. Make it to where it's shorter each one. So, of course, first things first, we actually need to even out this diagonal a little bit. So, 
So it looks like we've mostly evened it out, question mark. Oh, some blops. That sounds like fun, Stallone. Okay. So the correct answer for how best to handle this was to do two vertical, or two starting from the bottom in order to get that up. Noted. <laughs> and now we have evened out our diagonals. So now all we have to do is go diagonal in every single one, every single diagonal um, uh, pass that we do will require two less blue studs. Two less. So it makes the progress kind of, it's the same number regardless of how we do it. But it makes me feel like I'm progressing a lot quicker, even though I mean it, no matter what, it's, it's going to be the same number of studs. It's all about how it makes you feel when you're doing it, though. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Almost there, almost there. And just what, four more diagonal? So this one is a four by four. Does it actually cut two off each time? No, it cuts one off each time. I was mistaken. Oops. Because then this is three. This is two, this is one. Oh. There we go. Okay, that brings us to this one, Here. Get those out of the way, oh. I'm going to have to actually hold it. <laughs> There we go. Which of course, yeah, that blue is a really, really nice, kind of like royal blue. Oh, We are one more stream from finishing off the Ravenclaw portion. One more. But unfortunately, that is going to be the um, end of my lunch break. So thank you very much for joining me here for my lunch break in the City of Electric Sheep. So until next time, you stay electric, Sheep City. <laughs> <laughs>